Uh, what's my name, chat? Duncan Chino. I made my... <laughs> now, now we're stunlocked by Duncan Chino. Hold on. <laughs> Give me one second. I gotta find this tweet. Alright, so this is Duncan Chino in medieval times. There be as proceedings most unusual at Donut of Duncan. <laughs> Good heavens! Sir Al of Chino! <laughs> Nay, it's not Al henceforth. Tis Dunk! <laughs> Sir Dunk of Chino? If thou dost not protest! <laughs> oh, we all lost our minds a little bit in 2020. <laughs> check, check! Welcome to Deck Check, the first and only unscripted, unsupervised, and unhinged 10 minute testing ripoff. Hear ye and repent, sinners, for my name is Death! And I am Judgment. Yes, today we are going to be playing Utopia. <laughs> but this ain't your mama's Utopia. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is the type of Utopia that you, that you only come up with when you have been uh, on a seven hour Adderall bender. This is the type of Utopia that you scrape up off the floor of a bathroom and a nightclub. This is the type of Utopia that comes up... <laughs> This is the type of topic. This it, it comes up once in a generation. You know what I mean? This is this is this is a once in a lifetime utopia list. Let me actually explain what's going on here. I got fed up with Utopia not having a one card combo, so I got my uh, my essentially my my meth chemist <laughs> final Dimax to make me a one card Utopia combo. And the way he figured out how to do it is by making any one card rank four into Alan Bershon. That can be like Aratama, Wakaushi, any of that shit. You make Alan Bershon, search circular, circular send Nabla, Alan Bershon summon Nabla, circular search equation, Nabla summon diameter from deck, and then equation summon back the Nabla. Now you have three level fours on board and that is full Utopia combo. Now. If you just don't look at the bricks, it's like they're not there. Okay? So we're not going to talk about them. Alright? We're just not going to talk about them. Anyway, I think this is probably the best deck. Um, fuck you if you disagree, Joshua Schmidt. Fucked. If you just don't look at the bricks, it's like they're not there. If you just don't look at the bricks, it's like they're not there. Don't, don't look at the screen. If you just don't look at the bricks, it's like they're not there. <laughs> if you just don't look at them, it's like they're not there, right, chat? This is all going in, by the way. See, this this is like the little little delay in between when he gets to look at what I picked for rock, paper, scissors. Ah, damn. Let's go. Why are you using EDO Pro for these? Omega, um, Omega is not real. And doesn't work. Anyway, we just drew, we just drew both the sages. So all that bullshit we cooked up doesn't matter for this one. <laughs> we just get to play like a regular game this time. We get to like play as though like we're playing a normal person deck. Alright, so we're just gonna add both of these. And then I guess, like... I guess we go through, like, a... I like to imagine Jaspi playing RPS, reenacting the scene from The Princess Bride where Vizzini tries to find out which cup has the poison in it. And meanwhile, I'm just like, I, I, I don't even look before I click. I just, I just click. Here, we're gonna go through... We're gonna go through some hoops to see if we can get like a UDF or something. Oh, 
All right, so here's what I think we do is we go like circular send Nabla. And then we go Soul Gaia booster. So now we can make Alan Bershin. And Alan Bershin is going to search us Equation. I guess we could just search Diameter, but it doesn't really matter. Because we haven't normaled yet, have we? Yeah, we can just search Diameter. Grab this thing. Get super. Summon back Nabla. How are we getting rid of the body? Okay, so here is my current plan. Here is my plan. So we do this. Summon Ascended Sage, not as great after turn one. Then make this thing. straight for like this here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we hard make UDF here? <laughs> what do you think for intimidation damage? Nah, there's this. <laughs> do it. We, we, <laughs> next time, next time. Is this in the final? Yeah, this is, um... This is uh, Mario and Luigi in the final traditional Japanese version. If you're not uh, if you're not a fan of uh, Human on on YouTube, you're missing out. They make a lot of bangers. Now we make Prime. I didn't know you could make hard you, you could hard make UDF. Yeah, some cards you're just like, why does this even have a material line? When are you ever, when are you ever doing this? It's like well, right now. <laughs> we found a way. All it took was Alan Bershin. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. Super Factorial is dead as hell now. It doesn't really matter, cause like... I mean, what, like, we, we were gonna put, um, Hope Harbinger on board anyway. See, now this, now this Super Factorial is, like, it's literally just, like, literally this is just the backup plan. We don't, we don't, like, need it. We just, we just have it, just in case. There. Break my board, mortal! Terraforming. Fuck you. Cocksucker motherfucker. We're eating again in case that wasn't clear. We have a pretty good flu matchup if we go first. Our deck main combo is a double imperm. Book of Mo, fuck you. Uh, 
What's up, Harry? We already played into the talents, may as well negate. Fuck, sh shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um. Yeah, let's ash that because I'm stupid. There we go. I don't want to know what's on top of your deck. Le leave it. Keep it. I don't want to. I don't want to know. Does this board lose to evenly? Will you shut the fuck up? Will you just... Will, will all you annoying little chatters just leave me alone? I worked hard for this. Keep him, keep him. I don't need him. <laughs> do you guys know, do you know? Do you know how much I've sacrificed to make one card Utopia? All right, so they're gonna banish like Eaglin. I think we. I think it's actually correct to negate the Eaglin in the banished, right? I think it actually might be like right to do that. Oh, they're going for this thing. Um, are they actually gonna? It's like, yes, they just summon that now. But like, I don't really care that much about that. Like now we just negate it when they summon it. So this is their regular normal. We let it go through, and then when it attempts to resolve, we negate it. At the point at which it attempts to resolve, we negate it. And that's it. We have defeated the Fluanderese Menace, and I think that was actually a four card combo. <laughs> We fucking go. Alright, 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 we're cooking. This is soup, this is stew. Wow, they have it! Alright, 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 let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go. This ain't no motherfucking rated PG shit. This shit rated porn. Let's go! You guys know what I'm referencing, right? I don't have time to like pull up the video I'm talking about. Don't forget to special the sage. True. I love that like, I love that I have my own like, like astral or like Yugi on my shoulder to just tell me like the right place to make. I mean, technically, technically, we didn't need to special summon the Armed Sage, because we're not actually doing anything with our normal summon in this one. Right, it wants to know if we want to use three materials, which we could do. I don't want to do that. We can normal the bike, that's true. You should just let Dimax play the games and commentate over it. Damn it. Can you imagine that? Just like having someone else playing games for you and then commentating over them? I can't imagine a YouTuber doing that. That would be fucked up. Get super. Super. And 
Now we get diameter. And here comes gold guy. Gold guy. Gold guy. Hmm. Now see, here's a problem though, is how do we, do we have a way to get rid of Utopic Sage so we have zones for Super Factorial even though, like even after summoning Hope Harbinger, or do we have to like fire that before we can summon the Harbinger? That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's probably the main reason you shouldn't actually play the Super Factorial in this deck. Super fact is funny though. I did like I I did DM Dimax this morning like, hey, uh, I took that list you gave me and I jammed Super Factorial into it because uh, I I've, I've been feeling real low lately and I need, I need something to give me the give me that good kick that <laughs> that chugging down an entire bag of cough drops in one day used to give me. Super fact is for when we get lava golem. That's true. Like, that's the thing, is it's just insurance. We don't actually need it. If we actually needed it, then Utopia wouldn't have gotten me to Plat 1 in Season 1 of Master Duel. True story, by the way. Now, the quest... <laughs> The big problem here is if they have, like, Feather Duster. I played Infernoble Season 1 because I have no morals. I've never, I haven't, I never played Infernoble, but what I did play for a very long time was, um, what is it called? I played, like, this... Adventure Halkdon, like s normal summon Sangan deck that aimed to uh, just make Charles and like Colossus and shit. I wish I still had the list on me. Ah, Gans! It's these fuckers. Okay. Surely we don't just like negate that thing, right? Can this negate effects or... Yeah, yeah, it can. So we just wait for them to try and activate it. You stupid motherfucker. Prepare to feel the wrath of my... of my Hope Harbinger... Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic cock. That shit's mine now. <laughs> Tell me that shit ain't once per turn. Go on. It negates activation, so I think I, I think that would like reset it. We could ash this, but it would be way funnier to do. <laughs> it'd be way it would be way funnier to wow they have it. <laughs> It, it, it's actually much funnier to go, wow, they have it. You know what I mean? <laughs> let me pull it. Let me pull it up for us. Folks. Droll and Lockbird. Real. Wow, they have it. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we don't have it. We ain't got it. NVM. Uh, shut up. No more activations. Cease your activations. 
Yes, this is where they, they make Zeus in main phase two. Because an Xyz monster did battle, that is true. All right. So now this is why we're not on Numeron Dragon, is because we just turn all of our cards this direction and then we click the little button in the middle, and now we win the game. There we go. Folks, sometimes it's just that easy. Sometimes you just gotta do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of utopic trolling, a little bit of math, <laughs> a little bit of math Mexican, uh, some math, some math Mexican lines to get where you're going. Sometimes you just gotta make your, your, your shit super heavy. You just gotta, you just gotta rix, <laughs> gotta, gotta be a quirked up shorty who mixes the Aratama with the <laughs> Uh I don't know, dog. Konami, please make Utopia support. We're dying out here. We've got- we've lost our goddamn minds. As you can clearly see, uh, this list was made after, uh, the- the orderlies at the hospital failed to restrain me. And now look at us. Using math mech equation as a vital part of Utopia combo. Anyway, that's it. Um, I don't know. What- what's your favorite- what's your favorite number? Not your favorite number, monster. Type your favorite number in the comments. Mine's like 76. I think that one goes pretty hard. <laughs>